So before I start talking, as you can see this armrest area is completely broken and the foam is just disintegrating. And I will be removing this because there's no point of me cleaning an entire car, putting hours and hours into it and just placing it back. Just getting foam all over the place so I will be removing that and eventually um, I will be replacing it with a brand new one. Also it's worth mentioning before we, before I start talking more that I will be talking for a little bit. So if you don't want to hear me talk, you can pull, you can turn the volume down until this point in time and you can turn it up and just listen to this awesome music I'm playing. Hey everyone, so today we are going to be detailing, as you can see, a 1998 Chevy Blazer. Now, when we first got this car, it reeked of cigarettes. So the previous owner of this car um, smoked cigarettes. As you can see, there's burn marks on the uh, chairs. There's burn marks pretty much everywhere in the car, even on the carpet in some places. Me and my dad tried to clean it the best we can with lemon scented Lysol wipes. And we also used uh, ozone spray that you spray in the car, turn on the AC and just close everything for a few minutes and you just let it air out and that definitely helped as well. And it did the job very well. The cigarette smoke slowly went away and it doesn't smell like cigarettes anymore. And we have cleaned this car before, vacuumed it and all that. And we found some interesting things as a huge uh, cigarette that I don't ever recommend anyone smoking. You should not smoke at all. And why I say that is because I'll be extracting everything in this car because everything is pretty much fabric. The stuff that comes out of this fabric is sort of like the stuff that's going to be happening in your lungs. It's pretty disgusting and I wouldn't even recommend smoking. Never smoke because it just ruins your life anyways. But this very day I was recording it was 88 degrees and of course in the car and outside with the humidity and everything it's probably going to be 90s and um, my phone overheated three times throughout this entire process so you will see awkward cuts that happened there was nothing i could really do but the next day i did take precautions of taking breaks for myself for not to overheat myself and i brought my phone in to cool it down and that definitely helped and with me taking breaks the process of cleaning this car took a little longer than usual it took five days for me to complete this car completely. I think that is pretty much it that I want to cover. I will be talking here and there throughout this video explaining things of what happened and how I proceeded with things. So enough of me talking. I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get into it. Ooh, I wanna jump. Can I let it go? I'm 
mentioning here as you can see there's a lot of stains in this it was really dirty for this one side don't get discouraged with seeing stains that you can't get rid of it just means that the carpet is stained and there's nothing you can really do except try to go over it one more time as you can see I tried doing here but it's just too far gone the stains are ingrained in the fibers and all you can really do is either replace the carpet or dye it and I don't think either two of those options are feasible and logical right now because this is a 98 Chevy Blazer and that's my age almost 23 years old and honestly it's not really worth replacing the carpets or dyeing something like that and when I'm extracting here you'll see a, almost like a bleach stain up here and once you go over certain areas you will extract things and another stain will appear and you'll just have to go over it one more time or two to three times but maximum in this entire process i went over about two times and i never went over more but i just wanted to point that out to you
I am pretty much done for the day. My phone overheated 20 to 30 seconds into me doing this. I didn't know and it started and I finished it. As you saw, I was spraying this section. I grabbed the drill brush, agitated it, wet it again, sucked it up. And the same process did with this. And that's it. I'm done for today because it is hot. My phone is overheating. And um, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I'll pick this up tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be way cooler. And um, I plan on doing all this in the morning. So it's going to be 10 times cooler. And my phone is not going to overheat. So let's jump into tomorrow. <laughs> Now, as you can see, I did miss that bottom part where you place your legs at and also where the water is dripping off. Um, I did do that when I did the floor. Um, I completely missed it and I would have done it during this part, but it slipped my mind for whatever reason. And as you saw, I did find another stain on that side and I cleaned it. So that's why I said you might have to go over um, a few times to get rid of stains that just come up because once you wet fibers um, and they start drying a little bit they will just start coming up and coming up until it's completely washed you're not only washing the fabric or the carpet you actually are sort of extracting and washing the fiber under the carpet or fiber or cloth whatever you're extracting from the seeds the rugs pretty much anything
tired of it I can't get you off my mind, can't forget it Now I know what I've got to do Is find my way back to you you'll say why I did not tilt this chair. Um, I cannot tilt it because the handle that reclines the back broke and we have repaired it multiple times. It's just the metal is very brittle and weak. The handle is still intact so it's pretty much not really worth putting it on and trying to recline it back just in case if the thing snaps further than it is now and it will screw up everything. Try. Even if you push me under, it's 
It's only gonna make me stronger It's only gonna feed my hunger Say the words, say, say the words Even if the tide stops turning Even if the world keeps burning Nothing's gonna stop this feeling Say the words, say, say the words Watching the flames burn higher, setting my world on fire. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, risking it all on you. And I don't pretend to know how you feel. Either you won't or you will, but I'll give it a try. Even if you're too blind to see, and even if you look right through me, I never thought it would be. Easy. Say the words, say, say the words Even if the world stops breathing And every beating heart stops beating Nothing's gonna stop this feeling Just say the words, say, say the words This section right here of me cleaning the front panel is the very last thing. And then you'll see the after shots of how everything went. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was long. It's 31 and a half minutes long. I know it's long. I really do hope that you enjoyed this transformation of a smoker's car into a really, really good looking type car. Yes, this car is old. There's plastics fading. It's cracking as well. With a little bit of love and care, it just makes it so different and it gives you an amazing experience. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. And comment down below. What was your very first car detail you ever done by yourself or experienced with? Because I really think that would be really cool to 
tell your story of how you came to detailing or experienced someone that did really really good detailing with that being said i do hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you all in the next one Talking like you think you're royalty You think that I'm afraid But I don't break I heard you question my stability You think I'll fall just like a guillotine But I am here to stay Won't look away The storm is coming So you better start running Take it. I've come to take it.